Okay, we have another integral on the board. We have pi to the ln x. Okay, the first thing we want to know, so pi looks kind of might look scary, but it's actually just a number, so it's not going to bother us too much. But we don't want it in the base. What we want, we want e in the base. So let's rewrite this. We can write pi as e to the ln pi, right? Because they'll cancel, and these this is the same thing. And then what that's going to do is we can take our expression pi ln x, make this substitution in here. So we're going to have e ln pi to the ln x here. Then what we can do just in one step is we can multiply in our ln x, but we can take the ln pi out. So we can just flip these and rewrite this as e ln x to the ln pi. But then this inside stuff is just going to be x. So this is going to be the same thing. When those cancel, it's going to be x to the ln pi. So rewriting this book down on the side, we're going to have x ln pi dx. And then the important thing to notice, ln pi is just going to be some number around 1-ish, like 1 point something. So that's going to allow us to use the power rule. We can just do this and add for our results. going to be x ln pi plus 1. And then we'll divide by ln pi plus one. And at this point we have a correct answer, but what we wanna do, let's try to get it back looking a little more like that, just because that's usually the polite thing to do. Let's rewrite the numerator as a product. So this can be written as x times x ln pi over ln pi plus one plus c. And then for this piece here, we already, we kind of, we went in one direction, we're just gonna do it back. So we're just gonna reverse this back to here. Our final answer, we're just going to grab this and we're going to have x times pi ln x over the same stuff here, ln pi plus 1 plus c, and we're done.